So what I'm doing here is I'm actually going to be making something that goes around our piano. I'll show pictures of it when it's all complete. But something that goes around our piano and I'm going to drain blankets over it and that's going to keep the sound in so it's soundproof. So when we record our audio for our music videos then we will have tracks with nothing else in the background. <laughs> this is the process of me building something that's going to be this long and then it's going to have folded arms with hinges that are going to go on either side of the piano which will be a little more obvious when you see pin pictures of the finished product but until then please enjoy the process of making a soundproof um drop back for a piano <laughs> So now I've got this all framed done and I'm working on the sides and I'm going to use the frame I just made to build the sides on. It's just going to be easier that way and I'll have a bigger platform. But yeah, so we're on to the sides and hopefully my measurements measured up so <laughs> the flaps will fold in. They'll fold in and be exactly even on each side. We'll see. First one's done and we're gonna go and start on the next one. So I had to put an extra board between it just to brace it and make sure that it's all, you know, sturdy and everything. So we're on to making the next one of these. All right, our second one is built and it's looking really good. I'm pleased at the progress because I didn't think it was gonna turn out this well. But now we are going to stick the, <coughs> stick the flap, so to speak, on the sides and hook the hinges on. But first I have to turn this upside down so the hinges are in the right place. <laughs> so let's get right to it. They were the cheapest there. They look like they're gonna work really nicely. I didn't need necessarily something so shiny, just something that works, but this is all I had. So this is what I'm gonna use. I just wanna share a little answer to prayer. Um, I originally, when I first started, thought that I wasn't going to have enough of uh, long screws to finish the project and I would have to wait for another day at least after I got off work to be able to finish this and you know me when I start something I want to finish it so <laughs> I was you know a little worried and then I opened up the packet of hinges 
and an extra screw an extra screw came with it and they're the exact same size as what I would have needed so even though it ended up being that I had all the screws I needed the Lord even blessed me with four more screws so that was that was a pretty big thing for me and you know I just want to thank him for providing for us in little ways and sometimes more than normal in ways before we even know how he's gonna provide. So, I thought that was really neat. And right now, a thunderstorm is coming up, so I have to work extra hard, extra fast. take it inside and show you more pictures. Yes. <laughs> okay, you get the bottom. We'll go this way. Open the doors. I know this looks like a way in the manger scene. <laughs> Ma Ma <laughs> but no. we did it. Um, no, you did it. No, but you helped. Anyway. <laughs>